In this video, I'll be taking you guys through my experience with the Sony ZV-E10 camera, giving you my honest opinion and all of the facts and the specs and just details of this camera and telling you whether or not I think it's worth it to buy. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Elise and I make lifestyle and tech videos just as a disclaimer as I always say to you guys I love and really thoroughly enjoy making tech videos but I am no tech guru so if I say something wrong please don't come for me I'm just having fun here and trying to help you guys as much as I can from my experience with this camera so some of you may have known from my recent post on Instagram that I recently got this Sony ZV E10 camera in the white color right here it shows up black but it comes in black and white and I got the white color. I actually waited for this camera to come back in stock in white and I really, really, really wanted to get my hands on the white one. It's just very clean and modern and chic and I absolutely love it and the wait was definitely worth it. Another reason why I got it is because it's supposed to be this year's top five vlogging cameras. As you guys know on my channel, I love to vlog. I recently switched from the Canon G7X to the Sony ZV-E10. Why? Mainly because I haven't used this camera for the past few years and for me, Personally, I just like upgrading my digital devices when I can. I used to be like a true Canon girl, never thought I would buy anything but Canon, but my personal opinion has definitely changed now. This camera itself had worked for me really, really well, and it still does. I still use it, so there's nothing wrong with it, but just upgrading kind of gets you more excited to film, kind of makes me more motivated knowing that I have a new device to film with and very grateful at the same time. I know a lot of you do have the Canon G7X, so if you want me to do a comparison, a review video from this camera to the one I have now please let me know down in the comments I would greatly appreciate that and I would really enjoy making that video for you guys so first off let's start off by showing you guys what you actually get in this kit once you purchase this Sony camera it was under a thousand dollars but you definitely get a lot of equipment with it so of course it comes with a Sony ZV-E10 vlogging camera it also comes with the lens a rechargeable battery pack an AC adapter front lens cap USB cable windscreen, shoulder strap, and the owner's manual, and microphone. Now, when I first unpackaged everything, my first impression was that everything was all good, but then I realized, which was very convenient, is that it did not come with a charger. And when I bought my Canon G7X, I believe it did come with a charger, and so that was a little disappointing if I'm giving my honest review to you guys right now. When you're spending $1,000 mainly on a camera to add in the charger for the battery would be really convenient and nice but I did not and so I just bought one separately but that is one thing that I would say from my honest opinion about this camera is that I wish it came with one. Now some features off of this camera that I definitely have appreciated. First one is the windscreen built in on the camera. It improves the sound quality and is very useful in vlogging outside when the wind is blowing or it's a rainy stormy day or when just the outside noise is not cooperating with you. As most vloggers know, you know that once you move outside of your home and go into the world, anything can happen, any noise, any sound, anything. And so to have that built in is really convenient and has helped with the sound quality so much. It also has a flip out screen on the right side, which is essential for vlogging. If you're a vlogger, you know that it is not easy to vlog with a camera that does not have a flip out screen, whether it be on top or on the side. One thing that I did notice though is is that the flip out screen is not touch screen. And for me, I feel like it's really convenient to have not only the buttons on the camera itself, but also to have a touch screen. Especially nowadays, I feel like everything is touch screen from our laptops to our tablets to our phone everything like that and so for it to not be touchscreen was a bit of a surprise this camera also has a really good authentic skin tone reproduction as you guys can see here while I'm filming I feel that my skin looks much more clear than my previous videos because the resolution is so much better and it has better quality now overall when I'm on the go and vlogging it is very important that I have a camera that is on the go and compact and lightweight on a scale of 0 to 10 I would probably give this camera for convenience maybe a seven. It's not the lightest camera that I use. The Canon is definitely much more lighter, but it is still convenient and compact. Yes, when the lens is out, it is a little bit wide, about three or four inches, and so that's something that definitely 
makes it not as compact anymore when I'm using it and kind of bulky to hold. But overall, it's not the worst thing. I definitely have had cameras that are bigger than this and vlogging was really difficult. Now for the body of it, it has a really nice grip handle on the right side where you can hold this camera with one hand. It also is not heavy in weight and so I really appreciate that, especially when holding it with one hand out and about on the go. Another thing that I would mention is that if you're just getting into vlogging, if you're just getting into cameras, this camera is really user friendly. All of the buttons, all of the screen details, even using the manual that is provided in the kit alone is really helpful. One thing that I really like about it is that although it looks very professional and it has an extra lens, you can zoom in and out and have all these features, it makes it very easy for you as the kit nearly comes with all the tools that you need. Now the lens itself is interchangeable, which makes it really nice to capture any scene and any shot that you want. This camera also has a wide angle lens. One thing I will mention though, is that the lens itself is interchangeable, but the lens that comes with it is kind of bulky. It is about three or four inches in length and width. And so for it to fit in most bags, if I wanted to just throw it in a bag of mine, I'm not too sure if it would fit. That's why I have a nice case for it on this side so it can just fit in there. Personally for me, while I'm shooting, certain things that have been really helpful for me is one, when you are filming, it has a red dot that is very clear on the camera to let you know that you're filming and also it has a red border on the flip screen to show you that you're recording. Another good thing is that it shows the time that you have left on your SD card. It also auto focuses really, really well. If I shake the camera and if I'm moving, it goes back to focus super fast. And when you're a vlogger, that is like the number one thing, if not second to third thing that you are going to look for in finding a good camera is if it can auto focus for you. Because when you're vlogging, you're up, you're out, you're moving. There are a lot of things going on, especially in the background that could be happening. If you're out in public and so for your camera to autofocus is super important and this camera definitely does that another feature that you guys can use on this camera is that you can live stream with it you simply just need to connect the camera to a computer or a compatible mobile device with the usb cord allowing the camera's video and audio capabilities to be used for live social media and video conferencing now if you're recording movies or sit down videos like this, there is no recording limit for this camera allowing for longer takes and uninterrupted scenes. Now as I wanted to protect this camera, I recently just bought this Sony case from my local Best Buy to keep everything in it. I can link it down below for you guys. But it just has these nice compartments inside for the camera, for the batteries, for the strap, anything that you need and it's also the same brand. For me, I like to match brands to my devices. And so my Apple iPhone will then have this Apple case. My Sony camera has a Sony case. It's just something for me that is like a pet peeve when brands don't match together. And so that was really affordable. I think like $30 or less. So definitely for any equipment that you buy that you invest your money into, definitely protect it with a nice case. And so that one I definitely recommend. It's a little bit on the bulkier side, but definitely holds everything that you would need. And that is it for today's video, guys. That is my honest opinion and honest review of the Sony ZV-E10 camera. Overall, it is a great camera, especially if you're a vlogger or even just starting to get into it. This is definitely a great camera for your future purchase. I hope that you guys like this video. Again, if you want me to review the Canon G7X to the Sony ZV-E10, definitely leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to our lovely family here, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.